Hello and welcome to the latest episode of the Low Budget Review Show. I am your host, Eric Smith, and today I am talking about Hairspray and Switchblades by V. Castro. This is from Unnerving Press, and it is number five in their Rewind or Die series. You know, by the time you see this video, I will have received the last book in the Rewind or Die series. I'll have them all. At least until Unnerving puts some more out, but I'm all caught up. Technically, at the time of this recording, the book doesn't arrive till tomorrow. But by the time you see this, it'll be in my mitts. Actually, it'll be on my reading cart. But anyway, book cart. But anyway, we're talking about Hairspray and Switchblaze by V. Castro. This is about two sisters, Maya and Magdalena. Uh, their parents are dead. Maya is working as a stripper to support her younger sister, uh, who is in a private Catholic school and uh, should be getting full scholarships for track and academics to go to college. Uh, so Maya is doing her best to support her. But they have a secret. And it's on the back of the book, so I'm just going to go ahead and tell you they come from a line of jaguar shapeshifters. Maya, um, when she turned 18, was introduced to this ability so she can she changes every full moon. Magdalena doesn't know about it yet. And at the same time, there's a killer. Killing strippers and sex workers in horrific, horrific ways. So all of this is what's going on in the book Hairspray and Switchblades. So, uh, first of all, I love shapeshifter stuff. Not just werewolves, any kind of were creatures. Um, so, really cool to have this, uh, these sort of were jaguars. Um, I don't know if that's the proper term, but um, that's the term I use, you know. And uh, Maya and Magdalena are are nice characters. We get more Maya. She's more the, she's the main character, absolutely the main character, um, with her younger sister Magdalena being uh, the secondary main character, if that makes sense. Of course, I mean, there are focus. There's also a detective who's investigating these uh, murders who meets Maya, and they team up a little bit. But, and, and we meet the killer, and it's <laughs> the the structure. The way the story goes took me a little bit by surprise, simply because it's it's not your typical straightforward A B C D. These are the normal steps you'd expect to see in the story. Uh, I thought maybe I'd uh, there were going to be a bunch of blank pages at the end of the book because we get to a point that seems like it's going to be the climax. Um, but it's not. There's more to come. So I like that. I like that, uh, you know, it sort of exceeded my expectations as far as how a story is being told. Uh, v. Car Castro, excuse me, V. Castro is a great writer. This is one of her earlier works, and I think, I think it shows. I've read, uh, this is the third thing that I have read by her. Um, I've also read Goddess of Filth and... Mestizo Blood. Not exactly sure on that pronunciation, but I believe that's it. Her short story collection. Um, I have her novel Queen of Cicadas. I haven't read it yet, but I, I do think um, maybe I'm wrong. I feel like I've noticed the growth in her writing. Uh, I think that the, the Goddess of Filth and Mestizo Blood are... A little more polished, I think is the best way to put it. Uh, I'll tell you right now, I gave this three out of five on Goodreads. It's uh, it's it's a nice story. As I said, I like the characters. I like the wear stuff. Uh, she, I was going to say she sets up something, but I'm not sure that that's quite accurate. She has created a world where there are other stories that could be told. 
I don't know that she necessarily sets up other stories, but it is a world I would love to see her return to. I would love to see some of these characters again. I would love to see other things in this world again because there are there are aspects that I'm not going to tell you about um, that help build a bigger world. But um, I do think it's, as I said, it's slightly less polished than her later works, which is to be expected from any writer. You know, you get better with time. Um, but a three out of five means I liked it. It didn't absolutely blow me away. Um, and it's the whole problem with the number, giving a, a, a rank to books like this is that, you know, I've already given ratings to Goddess of Filth, Mestiza of Blood, which I both think are, which I both enjoyed more. Let me put it that I can't say they're better books. Um, I think the writing is, again, I'm going to keep using the word polished. I think the writing's a little more polished in those. And so I can't rank this the same that I ranked those. So it's, it's a little annoying. Um, I would go three and a half. You know, I'm going by Goodreads rating. And I would go three and a half if they'd let you give half. But it's well worth reading. It's another great rewind or die book. It's uh, got some grit to it, sort of this underbelly, the strip clubs and the sex workers. Um, and, the, you know, it's got a little bit of, well, I mean, we know who the killer is. So I was going to say a little bit of mystery, but it does have the detective, which is nice. I like his character. Uh, again, I like the sisters. I like the world that V. Castro has created here. Um so yeah, th I'm going to say three and a half. We'll just straight up say three and a half for this. Well worth reading, uh, as all of her stuff has been so far. Now, all of that being said, I don't know that I should tell you this. I don't know if it's going to bother anybody. Um, but the, the back cover copy has the sw sister's names switched. I was confused a little bit, and maybe this will help other people. You won't be confused uh, if you read it. But on the back cover copy, it says that Magdalena puts her dreams on hold and turns to exotic dancing, etc., etc. But it's actually Maya that does that. Magdalena is the high school student. I kind of dig that. I like having a book that's got a little something. You know, I don't know if later editions have corrected that. But, uh... For me, it's fun to have something with a little, a little something like that on the back. It does not affect the book in any way. It's still three and a half stars. A fun read. Another great addition to Rewind or Die. That's Hairspray and Switchblades. Another great Rewind or Die cover as well. V. Castro. Recommended. Um, all right. I think that's it. So... If you have any comments, questions, or corrections, please put them in the comments below. Comments are open for spoilers. Just post a spoiler warning. I don't know why things seem so dark. Uh, if you care to follow me on other social media, oh, wait, please like, share, and subscribe, all that YouTube stuff. Now, if you would care to follow me on other social media, my Twitter is at Ronan5757, my Instagram, where I post pictures of uh, books, comic books, board games, and fuzzy, fuzzy animals is Eric Smith 5757 that's Eric with a K E R I K S M I T H 5757 that's all I've got this has been the low budget review show I have been Eric Smith and until next time read more books